part of animal kingdom in the wild. Because I want to resist the urge of missing out uh, on something, I will go directly and share with you what it thinks or feels about the colleagues at the workplace. First, the eagle. James likened the human resource in the organization or in a company to the eagle. Like an eagle, the human resource is in possession of data for all employees. The human resource knows everything about you. They know about your family members based on your records. They also know about your health status, your education, previous employers based on your CV, your character, discipline, previous salary, and all sensitive details that pertain to you. The human resource will smile to you during company meetings, tea breaks, or any other time you meet. The smile is either deceptive or genuine. You may confuse it to being in good terms with the human resource, but in some cases do not be fooled. You may be on the list of those to be fired next. He, James, also compared the company about the employees and the employer to a lion. This is a character displayed by both the employees and the employer. Every employee competes with his colleagues either overtly or covertly. He or she wants to get favors from the boss. So he and she will want to be the domineering force. This is where the employee is willing to sacrifice others to achieve a good standing in the company. This is well displayed by aggressive supervisors. The boss can also possess this quality. No one question, questions his decisions on matters how unjust and bad they may seem. He enjoys treating everyone like a lesser being. James also likened some relationships in the companies to master and donkey kind of relationship. In this kind of relationships, the manager or the boss does not care about the well-being of his employees. What matters is the objective of the company must be met irrespective of the method used to achieve it. If a company's main objective is profit, then be ready. You will be woken up in the middle of the night with a phone call. Delaying responding to phone calls or text messages is suicidal. This kind of relationship is accompanied with lots of threats. If you fail to come to job because you had a medical appointment, then you'll be told to show cause as to why you should not be fired. Failing to get to work in time can lead to salary cuts. The fourth relationship that James talked about is about the snake. Snakes are known to produce venom. Venom can be both beneficial and poisonous. As we all know, some snakes venom is used in the manufacture of antivenom and other drugs. That is the beneficial side. But at the same time, the venom can kill. That is, in case you get bitten by a snake, this can be related to the HR and manager behavior in the company. The HR may be so strict to the point that having a flat tire and reporting to work a few minutes late can be catastrophic. The human resource will turn against you and forget all the good work you've done for the company and even how many times you worked late, late for the success of the company. He or she will be swift in effective, effecting disciplinary actions against such an employee. The positive part of the relationship is that they always make employees disciplined 
and more focus which helps them later in life in career growth we also have a relationship uh, related like compared to a scavenger in this relationship we have employees both junior and senior who are very lazy but will do all they can to take credit on work done such employees will always watch good things unfold through the sweat of others they will then grab the idea when it is about to mature and run with it these employees tend to remove key contributors in the work from email communications when the product is ready and take charge you are always trying to train others through dubious means challenges challenges come in when they are asked to explain concepts in the work done they will not be able to do so and will want to bring back the original contributors to the project another relationship in the company environment is the air kind of character this is a character where it is well man manifested by cunning managers and supervisors they will always give you a charming smile but deep inside they feel like stabbing you all they do is not genuine they will tell you how important you are to the company and how much they appreciate the efforts you are doing out you are doing out and deep inside they are talking taking you for granted for instance they may have dedicated parking lots for each employee ask you to dedicate all your time in the workplace work extra hours without pay for the benefits of the company but reward you with nothing every time you ask for salary review they will give you empty sweet words that they are considering but that they are considering it but they will not be it will not be forthcoming anytime soon they will share tasks indiscriminately in a smart way for instance they will tend to give tasks that are so involving to certain employees and less involving tasks to their favorites they will also tend to promote those who literally do nothing but are in good books with them these managers are always putting a bait in anything they do these managers always think they are the smartest assets in the company what they do not know is that the still waters actually run deep they are always caught barefooted by their slave uh, in courts employees when they tender their resignations this is the time they try to use their cunning means to offer counter salary but it is too late another relationship is about the crocodile these are employees that can bring a company down in a single strike they are often often very calm and in most cases people tend to underestimate them a good example are the company engineers information technology specialists database administrators among others they are always busy working on different models for the company the company management always underestimates these guys but they have the capability of ruining everything that has been developed over the years these are the guys who give clients assurance of their data being secure these guys will never engage in cheap politics but they do but when they do even the management trembles Another character observed in companies is about the giraffe kind of character. These are employees who are privy to the senior management decisions. They are always in the know on what is going to happen the next day. These employees get information from senior staff who are moles in the management team. The giraffes are always scheming to be relevant in the future. 
so they will always be nice to the bosses Sector, secretaries to the bosses form part of this team the advantage of having a good bond with the giraffes is that they will always prepare retaliation they'll always help you prepare retaliation in advance before the real attack happens to you another group we have is the penguin these are characters you should take caution they are employees who are always yes boss in everything in short they have donated their brains to the wind they stand for nothing all they want is to be in good books with the bosses they do not have any slight shame in doing anything to get favors from the bosses they are ready and willing to dead the bosses so long as they remain safe and relevant in the company these employees will go an extra mile to badmouth colleagues to their bosses to be loyal to be loyal whatever they will say about other colleagues cannot be determined cannot be determined at this moment whether it is true or not another category of employees that we have are the parrots these employees are noisy but their productivity is zero in staff meeting they will shout at the top of their voices but they have no clue on what they are talking about these guys are terrible gossipers too they know who slept with who in the company who got a thorough beating from her husband or her or other wife and who is fighting who in the company unfortunately these guys have luck they are likely to be appointed as managers in the company when that happens everyone will know they are in control they will bring up random decisions whose implementation remain a mirage i'm feeling okay from the letter we are going to talk up there about further employee and company relationship in our next episode bye bye for now and thanks for watching and listening